but it's important to see the full picture. So thank you for that. With that, I'll turn things over to Ms. Luria for five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and Ranking Member Mann. Um, Mr. Cordero, did I understand that the Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection made almost 100 recommendations to the secretary during the last year? However, the VA has only implemented half of the recommendations for action, such as protecting whistleblowers. What, what is being done about the other half? Uh, so, so, so that's correct. We've made 99 recommendations from April to April. Uh, VA implemented over half of those recommendations. For the disciplinary recommendations that are not implemented uh, by law, VA has to notify Congress um, and basically uh, with the explanation as to why those recommendations were not taken. Uh, so there is a letter that the secretary sends out um, to uh, the chairs of the respective House and Senate sides um, explaining why a recommendation was not taken. Uh, and, and that's that's typically the process that, that that happens when a recommendation is not taken. Again, I think one of the critical things here is we have started tracking um, and are looking for trends uh, to better advise the secretary on changes that may be appropriate to that recommendation approval process. Right now, that approval process for recommendations, a recommendation is usually made to the supervisor of the senior leader or the supervisor of the supervisor found to have committed retaliation. So it's at the at, at a level that's a direct uh, connection level, and we are looking for trends uh, to see if we're seeing patterns, uh, so we can better advise the secretary. Okay, so have you captured any data? How many of these recommendations to the secretary dealt directly with addressing cases of retaliation against whistleblowers? And of those, how many of those recommendations have been implemented? Uh, like I said, so so twenty nine recommendations out of the uh, you know there, out of the ninety nine recommendations, sixty nine involved disciplinary actions. Uh, 29 of those uh, involved uh, uh, discipline against supervisors for whistleblower retaliation. We also have another 30 non-disciplinary recommendations. So typically when we recommend disciplinary action for supervisor, we would also recommend corrective action for the whistleblower that has put the whistleblower back into their position. Um, and we track those recommendations, whether the facility has implemented them or not. Uh, I don't have off the cuff um, effectively uh, an answer as to what what percentage of those 29 and 30 percent, uh, 29 and 30 uh, recommendations that I mentioned um, uh, have been taken, the number exactly, but like I said, over half have been taken. Um, so it would probably be about half of those, uh, over half of those that have been implemented. Okay, well, thank you. And we would love for you to continue to follow up with us and, and update us with that information. Um, Mr. Wilbur, um, would you agree with the actions the VA took to, to follow your recommendations? Um, specifically recommendation five to adopt a standard operating procedure and detailed guidance um, to make certain they are fair, unbiased, thorough, and objective in their work. Yes. So um, in, in, <clears throat> in following up our, our report and our recommendations, um, you know, we got action plans from OAWP. Um, initially, in some instances, those action plans weren't necessarily what we would have expected, um, but through dialogue with OAWP, we got updated action plans. Um, as you say, they implemented uh, their, their procedures in, in 0500. Uh, we reviewed that and found it um, adequate. You know, we don't we don't comment on the, the sort of the overall um, quality or, or the decisions they've made, provided those decisions are reasonable. Um, and so we we were comfortable closing out those recommendations based on the action plans and and the um, the, the implementations of policies that we saw from OAWP. Okay, thank you, and, and thank you uh, to all of our witnesses today. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you very much.